He dressed it up pretty nice on the inside. Problem is, from a resale standpoint, people that want these cars, they want them all original. I definitely dig the look of the Riviera, but there's a lot of issues that Bill and I came across on the test drive. We're just gonna have to see if we can get this thing for a decent price. All right, so what'd you think about it? There's a lot of modifications. It kind of leans it towards not as uh, valuable as like a fully restored Grand Sport. If you sold it, what could you get on the street for it? I'm thinking somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 to 25. Ugh. Is that with it without the engine in it? That's, that's real world. You know, they never say it's not what you got in it, it's what you can get out of it. Well, Bill, man, I appreciate it. Yeah, Take I appreciate it, brother. Thank you, buddy. Okay. Good seeing you guys. Thanks, man. Thanks, Pretty Ricky. Always a pleasure. Your girlfriend's going to be pissed. <laughs> I have I mean, a feeling isn't I told you so coming. <laughs> I mean, we're way off. Would you take 15 grand for it? No. Oh, 15? I mean, that's the problem. I mean, first off, you way overpaid. I mean, I, I think what happened was you saw this car, you absolutely fell in love, and did zero research when you went out and bought it. Zero, but maybe I should have done a little more. Just take 20. That's all the car's worth. I like the car. Corey, if you spend that kind of money for this car, it's yours. It's not the shops. You don't know what you're talking about. Go inside. You want 20 grand for it? 20 grand, that's still a really big hit. Um, I bought like 35. Sure you don't want to call your girlfriend first? Nah, I don't need to call her. She's going to say no. All right, man. Well, Thanks take care. Anyways. Appreciate it, buddy. Bye. What can I say? I tried. At least when I go home tonight, no one's making me sleep in the back of that car.